This is Quilt Notes, the quilt calculator, and the web address is quiltnotes.com. There are three major tabs at the top. So we'll click on calculators, and we see we have two calculators for quilt layouts. Right now we just have two, and there'll be some more in the future. This one is for straight set quilts where the blocks are set straight and block to block, or with sashing. And this is on point set quilt. Let's look at the straight set. We'll click on here. This is a, a large image here, and you can click anywhere in this area to open up the calculator or the layout designer, is what I like to call it. You'll see we have block size on the left. We can change this up or down, make it the width and the height of the block. Let's make it 12, 10 inches. And you see when I change this, these numbers change here, the size of the quilt and also the diagram changes. The diagram is to scale. So let's go with 10, 10 inches across and 10 inches down. Now here's the block setting. Right now there's two across and we can add some more. Now we have four across and we have six down. And the quilt size changed. Here's our sash width and here I have it as two inches and if you look at the light blue coloring between the blocks that is the sash width so let's change it back to two and now you can put up to five borders so I'm going to take the last three borders off so I'm going to bring them down to zero And there's the size of our quilt now, 62 inches by 84 inches. That's the finished size of the quilt. You can put your project name in here. So I'm going to say a happy quilt. And then if you're happy with this and you, you like the numbers you put and you like the size that you have, you can right click anywhere on the page and select print. Now what this looks like is going to be different depending on which um, which browser you have. So I'm going to choose a PDF and you see it's gone over but we're going to go down to the settings and here it's more settings and I'm going to choose this for scaling. So you see I clicked it and now it's 85 percent so I have everything on the first page. Now you can print this and it will have all the information that we had on the previous page on the website. But I'm going to cancel this out now and come back. Now when you're happy with all of these numbers, I'm going to click this Submit button. And this will give you all of the fabric requirements and cutting instructions you need for everything but the blocks. So here is the quilt information. Our block size is 10 by 10. The block setting is four across and six down. The quilt size is 62 by 86. And the number of blocks is 24. When we go to the next step, which is looking up blocks, you'll have to know the size of the block and the number of blocks you need. And you'll see that when we're working with blocks later. This gives you the binding fabric you need for that quilt and the backing fabric for 45 inch wide and for 108 inch wide. Here's our sashing information and you have two choices. Sashing without cornerstones. Here's the fabric requirements and the cutting instructions. And this is sashing with cornerstones. So here's the sashing part and the cornerstone fabric part. And then we only had two borders. So it will list here the crosswise cuts and the lengthwise cuts, depending on which way you want to cut your borders for borders one and two. And when you're happy with this, you can right click again, press print, and you see this has a lot more pages on it. And let's go down to our more settings and look for our scaling. So I'm going to click 85, and you see there's just a little bit that's not on there. So let's scale it even more. So now I put it down to 70% and it got all on one page. And then you can print this if you like. So those are the two calculators right now on the calculator tab of the home page. 
Now we're going to look at the blocks tab. So we'll click on blocks and here are our, our block quilt block calculators. I've put the common units up here at the top. So here are squares and rectangles. If you want to see how much fabric you need to make those, half square triangles, quarter square triangles, flying geese four at a time, 60 degree triangles, triangle and square, half rectangle triangle, and this is an econ it's called economy block. And a lot of times you'll see this being used as the cornerstones in some quilts. So I didn't know how to classify it any other way, so I put it here in all the common units. And there will be more added as we go along. These are one patch and miscellaneous blocks, like this is the potato chip block, tilted charms, and four square and spirals. Then we go down to by grid. So these are all two by two grids. If you work with grids, here's three by three grid and the common block sizes are six, nine, 12, 15 and 18 inches. Here are four by four grids and the common block sizes are eight, 12 and 16. And here is a five by five grid. So I'll show you one that, let's show you an easy one, the potato chip block. You click on that. Here is the name of the block. If there is a video tied to this, you click on this and the video will open up. Here is what the block looks like. And here is the unit diagram, kind of like an exploded version of the block. Here's our input where we'll, we will put the number of blocks we want and the finished size we want for the block. And right now everything is zeroed out. Here is the one patch that's in the block and this is a rectangle patch now if we go up here and let's say we want 35 blocks and we want them to finish at 12 inches so we fill in those two amounts and we press the calculate button and you'll see that now we have 35 blocks at 12 inch finished it gives you the number of rectangles used in the block and there are 18 rectangles in each block We'll go down here, we need a total of 630 rectangles at two inches by four inch finished. This is the fabric requirements, and it tells you how many strips to cut and how many segments to subcut. This is little piecing instruction, how you piece these together. Here are some suggested rotary cutting tools, and if you have AccuQuilt, these are the dies that will work to get this size you want. So you would cut the same number of patches as you see over here with your AccuQuilt dies. So if we click on this, this will open up the AccuQuilt die number that you chose. And you can say how many rectangles you need, 630 I thought it was, and press calculate. And it gives you the fabric requirements and how to cut them. So let's go back to this. And here's something I wanted to tell you, all of these calculations, this is assuming you're using one fabric. You are probably not going to use one fabric. Why would you do that? So if you want to get all scrappy, if you choose at least 16 different fabrics, you can cut one strip from each of your fabrics and that would make a nice variety of fabrics. So the fabrics here is the total number of fabrics total amount of fabric you need for this size patch. And that will be the same with all of these calculators. So let's go back now and look at another one. Here is a two by two grid, and this is called Tumble and Twist. There's a video for this one. Here's what the quilt looks like, a sample quilt. Here's the block. There, here's your input field for the number of blocks you want. And this is just a diagram for piecing. It's all the same patch. And these are cut from charm squares. So you have the, your, your patch is a square and it's five by five inch cut square. So let's say we want um, 50 of these blocks right here. We'll put 50 in and press calculate. So now we see we want 50 blocks at eight and a half inch finished, and that is this block here. So we'll need 400 patches 
squares. Cut it five inches by five inches to get this quilt. This includes every piece of fabric you need, the background fabric and the accent fabric. So if you look for the background fabric, it tells you how many inches of fabric you need or yards. It tells you to cut 25 strips at five inches times width of fabric and to subcut 200 squares at five inches. So you'll see this is 200 squares. We need a total of 400. So this is for the background. And for the accent fabrics, it's the same as the background fabric. So this will be the same yardage for the accent fabric. And again, if you want to make it all scrappy, you can have 25 different fabrics and cut one strip out of each fabric. Or you can have 12 or 13 different fabrics and cut two strips from that. This tells you how to piece. Now this is piecing for rotary cutting. And there's a good video here that tells you how to do it, how to cut these and piece them from charm squares. Here again are your rotary cutting suggested tools and your AccuQuilt dies. These are, if you want to cut five inch squares, you can use these two dies. And there is a block on board die for this as well. So you can press this one as the block on board. And it looks really similar to what we just saw. Here is the die. It tells you the cutting mat size and which cutter you can use with this die. And it has some block variations. On all of the blocks on board, you should download the assembly instructions. And that's what we have here. So that's a little bit of uh, information on the blocks. So we'll close those off. And all of the blocks are go going to have the same format. And we're going to be adding more blocks and units as we go. The third thing we're going to look at is the AccuQuilt. And I think if you are an AccuQuilt fan that you're going to really love this section. There are three different ways to search right now. I don't have all of the dies on the data in the database yet, but I'm working towards that. So let's click this one that says see all. So and it says the number of dies are 262. And that's the number of dies in the in the database for the website. So it tells you the die number, and these are in order by die number, has a picture, and then you can calculate. So some of these don't. It says unavailable. That means I haven't done the calculator yet for that. I've done all of the dies for all of the cube sets, the mix and match, and the angles and corners for all seven cube sets. Those are all up there. The strip cutters are all up there, and then some other dies and then the block on board dies. So this, like this is robbing Peter to pay Paul. This is a block on board. So it has sample quilt, what the die looks like, the cutting mat size and the cutter. Here's what the block is. And here is a diagram of the block. And you can download the block instructions. All you have to do for this is to put the number of blocks you need. I want 20 blocks, let's say. So there's 20 blocks at seven inch finished. And then this gives you a little bit of information on the dies. Here's your patch A and how you'll cut them. And here's your patch B. Let's go back to the AccuQuilt page. And these are all the block on boards. These are all the boards, block on boards so far. And there's about 76 of them. Um, if you see unavailable in the picture of the die, that means I haven't done the calculator yet. But all of these with block pictures and the calculate button all have calculators on them. And for all of these, you enter the how many blocks you want. So let's look at the starry patch, starry skies patch. It's taken a while to load that. So here's the die number, the cutting mat and cutter. Here's what the die looks like. Here's the block and then an exploded version of the block. Download the instructions. There's a video here. And then here are the accent fabrics and the background fabrics. Let's put 25 blocks, calculate. So you have 25 blocks at nine inch finished. And then here are your fabric requirements and cutting instructions. And this is something this last um, search, I think a lot of people are really going to like. You can search by size and shape. And these are all finished sizes. So here's a square. 
And if I leave it as all and click search, it will give me all of the AccuQuilt dies that make squares. And so you can go through and look. So this is a six inch finished square. It's in the 12 inch cubes shape one. This is a three inch finished square and you can see there are two squares on the die. And then there are multiple squares here. So this is all the squares, all the dies that will cut squares. Let's go back. And let's just say we want to know how many dies will cut a two inch finished square. So we have a square, two inches. And we press search. And what this does, when you press the two inches, it will give you everything between two inches and up to, but not including, three inches. So this is a two inch finished square, multiples. This is a two and a half inch finished square because that's between two and three. This is two inch, this is two and a half inch. So these are the dies you can use to cut two, two and a half, and two and one quarter inch squares. If we go back, you can do the same thing with rectangles, half square triangles, flying geese, triangles in square. All of these will give you which dies you can use. So let's do quarter square triangles, uh, four inches. Search. So these are the three dies that will give you four inch finished quarter square triangles. And you click on here on calculate, gives you information about the dies and more information about doing cutting quarter square triangles. We'll just put the number of quarter square triangles we want. So let's say we want 24 and press calculate and it gives you 24 quarter square triangles at four inch finished. Here's fabric one, fabric two, fabric three, and fabric four. And again, any of these calculators, if you right click and press print, you'll be able to print your results and you might need to do your scaling down here to make sure everything gets on the page and then just print. So that's what we have so far. We're adding new blocks and new AccuQuilt dies almost every day. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos.